Two months ago, I created a video of all Goku team and they almost broke my mouse. But what about Luffy Sama? Hmm. Let's check it out. It's so cold. on Snow Squid, it's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in Ulster Tower Defense. And on this video, guys, as you guys can see on my attire, we're gonna be checking out how powerful it is if we're gonna be using only all the different versions of Luffy Summer here on this game. So that's gonna be the three star version of Luffy which is the regular one, four star version, which is a time skip, five star version, which is the bounce man, and of course, the most recent six star version of himself, that's gonna be the snake man. And we're gonna see guys, how far can we actually reach by using this roster? I'm also gonna be using Bulma guys, so that we can make sure that everything will be placed at max, and I'm really excited to do this, so let's go. For those who keep on asking, why am I not recording any video about the PvP guys? Well, the reason is very simple. I just don't like it. <laughs> I'm not saying that it is bad, it's just the fact that I do not like it. And of course, it's gonna be really hard to record. Even if you're not a YouTuber, guys, just imagine playing something that you don't really like, something like that. And of course, for me, I need to record, and if I am recording something that I do not like, definitely that is not gonna be a good idea. But anyway, guys, uh, we got a little bit of a dilemma here because I am not sure how can we actually start this off because we need like 1,000 for the five-star Luffy. Well, actually, we can try out the four-star Luffy, yeah. Oh, I actually forgot to upgrade our four-star and also three-star Luffy, but that's okay, guys. We already know that our carry or main damage dealer here would be our six-star Luffy. But anyway, guys, which among these Luffy version is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below, guys, the reason why as well. But on the story, I mean, it's okay. On the story, I think that I'm not sure if there's already a leak for Luffy Gear 5. But for those who are really a big One Piece fan, can you guys share it down in the comment section below? What do you guys think will be Luffy Gear 5? Because I think that I'm so excited as well to see that. I mean, I, I want to say something about what happened on Kaido and also Luffy battle, but yeah that's gonna be a pretty much a big spoiler so i'm not gonna do that all right so i guess that we're just gonna place i don't i don't even know what the four star luffy is doing i already forgot but i kind of remember his animation that's gonna be like a long sausage man but all right um just gonna make sure that we will be able to at least maybe at least save probably 2500 yeah i think that's a good one just want to make sure that these will be killed. Oh my god, damage is 16. <laughs> oh, and this is only like the very first Decelerate units. Bruh, are we gonna die already here? <laughs> oh my god, these two Luffy's are terrible. <laughs> All right, so we actually need like at least a thousand, I guess. All right, just gonna place another of our Bulma. By the way, guys, our Fire Orb will also be on our six-star Luffy. And <laughs> yeah, I just cannot really believe how far have we been playing ASDD, guys, that... I mean, the damage of these units, pretty much like less than 20. They don't really have like big difference, but even their animation looks pretty weird, not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, come on now. All right, I thought that we're not gonna be able to kill that. Actually guys, speaking of One Piece, the best thing that I really like about One Piece, even though that we all know that Goku has a lot of forms and that is like the story of Dragon Ball, the author of One Piece didn't really kind of like copy Dragon Ball, you know, like, he didn't really give um, Luffy like a lot of forms although obviously guys he is already like gear fourth but it's nothing compared to what goku has and this is now going to be the first time that we're going to put our luffy five star actually I'm just gonna keep that yeah priority last yeah i just realized look at that guys this is really what i hate about these very thin aoe look at that i mean semi aoe like it'll end halfway and most probably is gonna be missing. But anyway, I think that we're just gonna keep on adding some upgrades to our Bulma because we still do not have the powerful 
We're the powerful. Okay, the, the powerful unit is still here, so we don't really need to upgrade our units yet. Or maybe we do. <laughs> All right, so we have here 50.4 damage only because our Luffy here is level 27 because I've already used like my level 80 Luffy onto our six star Luffy. So I already used him to evolve. I just wanted to have like at least a maxed out Bulma and I was not really expecting it's not going to be that easy. And that is just because the damage of these units are so outdated. This is only wave number nine. I mean, I can also upgrade our Luffy. Why not? But yeah, the more times that we will upgrade something, uh, the less money that we will get and also use for our Bulmas. Okay, that should do it. Finally, maxed out Bulma farm is now in the house. And first things first, I just wanted to make sure that we're not going to die here. So I'm going to max out this Luffy here. Hopefully it's already enough. I mean, 655. Yeah, probably it will be enough. And of course, just going to place like maybe our carry six star Luffy here and just going to place him. Uh, oh, it's not even enough. OK, <laughs> that's the reason why I brought my bull mama. Because if not, then yikes, it's going to be really hard for us. First air units are now here as well, and we still do not have a maxed out Luffy. So I'm just going to place his priority to first so that he would be able to kill these air units. And just want to check out this part as well. All right, I think that we're now going to be surviving, guys. Finally, Luffy squad is now starting to roll. All right, so wave number 15, and I guess that before anything else, I just wanted to place like, of course, the regular version of Luffy, where it all started, the three star version. And I'm not going to be surprised if he's only going to be a single target unit, which is, yep, I think he is. All right, so I'm just going to place like all of him here. And actually, yeah, he's already using, uh, this is his first gear or second gear. Yeah, second gear, I think. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you know, if I'm wrong, then just correct me, guys, because it's been a while since he used this one. I think that he was actually fighting Rob Lucy uh, when he used this, or not Rob Lucy, but that arc. Pretty sure about that. All right, so maxed out three star Luffy is in the house. This is kind of like a museum of Luffy. So, you know what? I'm just going to sell all of these stuff. Who cares about that? All right, and yeah, look at that. Only one Luffy is already carrying us and another Luffy here. Hey, look at that steam. <laughs> They're already smoking hot. Okay, so next one is, of course, it's going to be our four-star Luffy. I think that our four-star Luffy would actually be like um, semi-AOE. Might be wrong, but oh, actually, also say what? Okay, so also single target unit. Can't believe that the four star Luffy is only a single target unit, not gonna lie. And I think that, yeah, they are they better off just to be here in a corner. But I mean, look at their damage though. Like 56 damage is only gonna be tickling these enemies. Not really gonna be a game changer, but of course, we're still gonna place him. By the way, guys, while I'm placing my Luffy, what's your favorite arc on One Piece? Or if you actually haven't watched One Piece yet, then why are you not watching One Piece? <laughs> but anyway, guys, it's now about time for our five-star Luffy. So I guess that we're just gonna make use of his semi-AOE. And by the way, guys, maybe some of you will be thinking, why am I not on the Marine Ford Island or on the Marine Ford map? Well, the main reason is just it's it's pretty short, guys. It's pretty short. At least on this map, we would be able to try to resell. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think that that would be a lot easier for us. And that's going to be the last one, right? Yeah, I think so. OK, there you go. Wave number 22. And we now got here 24 Luffy. It's now about time for our carry. And we're just going to place our Luffy somewhere here. Yeah, we cannot really place him anywhere. Well, we can also place him here. But I think that this is going to be our second placement. So not really going to hurt us. Hey. Okay, there you go, guys. Wave number 26. And we now have every single Luffy here on the battlefield. And actually, guys, you know what? 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 I'm just going to sell all of these and transfer them onto our six star Luffy. I'm really sorry, guys. I know that, <laughs> I know that this is really annoying, but I just wanted to see like all of them having this kind of steam, you know? <laughs> OK, we are now done, guys. And look at what we did. <laughs> so it's going to be like the three star Luffy. And then after those enemies will pass by, 
they're gonna meet our four star Luffy. That's gonna be the time skip. And then the five star Luffy. And of course, the six star Luffy. And we are now on wave number 32. And you know what? Let me now turn on my attack effects. Pretty sure it's gonna be a glizzy party here again. <laughs> Alright, I just realized that the animation that we are seeing earlier, guys, is actually nothing because our attack effects are off. So <laughs> I think that we're gonna see it later, guys. But we are now on wave number 33. Obviously, this is still pretty easy for our Luffy's. <laughs> and they're just so cute. Look at that. They're lining up. <laughs> Oh my god. This is gonna be like nostalgic, especially for those big One Piece fans. Easy wave number 40 and our three star Luffy's are not yet getting triggered guys. So yeah, that's really a good sign. I don't think that we're gonna be reaching wave number 50, but it depends guys, it depends. But yep, wave number 40 is just an easy peasy wave wave clear again we are now going to wave number 41 i know guys that this wave like wave 40 plus is not really special but keep in mind that we are only using like four units and two of them are not even like five star and six star so <laughs> that is the reason why but wave number 41 let me check the hp of the mobs Yep, HP of the mobs are still at 20 to 30k or almost 30k. So, yep, this is still gonna be easy peasy for our units. Hey, our different Luffy version might actually beat our different Goku version. Not gonna lie. I already forgot the ending wave on that video, but yeah, I think that there's a possibility. Who knows, guys? Just not sure about the air units later, but this is now the wave number 42. Well, there's a cloner here. I'm pretty sure that this cloner would reach our three-star Luffy. We still haven't seen our three-star Luffy's animation yet because my attack effects were turned off earlier. And another wave clear, guys. We are now on wave number 43. Oh my God. <laughs> Seven more waves and we're gonna be touching wave 50. I think that I would consider wave 50 as a big, big, W for us guys. I mean, that would show how OP our 6-star Luffy is to get a win 5-star Luffy, of course. Okay, finally guys, I think that our 3-star Luffy's are now getting triggered and of course that is- Oh my god! That's gonna be a glizzy party here again! So many different colors of sausages! Oh, okay, these air units are tough. And that is only wave number 43 wave, I mean, air units. Pretty sure that we would be forced to resell our six star Luffy once the air units on wave 46 already spawn. But we are now on wave number 44, guys. We are still clinging. And I think that our five star Luffy's are actually doing a good job as well. I just cannot see it because of this team and also the animation. But look at that, guys. There's a lot of glizzy. And wait, I can see a little bit of fire. Oh, that is from the four-star Luffy. Dude, that's a literal hot dog. I mean, look at that guy. Can you see the animation? Yeah, there's like a fire with hockey on his shoulder, I think. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Where are you going, Decelerate? Dude, you're so rude. We're having a glizzy party there. All right. Um, yeah, he's going to die. That dude is going to die. All right, there you go. And another one. Okay. Yep. We now need to resell. Oh my god. We are in big trouble. SOS, SOS. Oh my god. Mayday, mayday. Our Luffy's are in trouble. I'm just going to leave their priority to first, guys, because our priority here is definitely just killing and just saving every single second as possible, guys. And oh my god. These air units are now here. Just as I predicted, guys, the level 46 or wave 46 air units would be really, really tough to beat. Actually, they died, but well, there's also another set of air units here to deal with. And yeah, I think that this is going to be it for us, guys. This is going to be it. Oh, wave number 47. OK, not that bad. And we are now about to die. Oh, that is really sad. Three more waves. <laughs> okay, not really that bad, but could have been better if we have like Irwin, but 
Erwin is not Luffy, so... So there you go, guys. That is the power of the different versions of Luffy here on ASDD. Do you guys think that there's gonna be a different version of Luffy here on ASDD? But anyway, if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe. Use star codes now whenever you're buying Robux. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay cold! Peace out!